Hey guys, we're about to do an Age of Mythology Extended Edition tutorial on the editor. And my name is SMG. And we're getting started now. And I said and like five times. And, and, this is taking forever. Alright, so for part two of the tutorial, I'm going to teach you about triggers. And also I'm going to teach you what I thought they said when I was little. I thought they said tiggers, like the like the tiger from the Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I watched a lot of Winnie the Pooh when I was little. Yeah. Why, why would they name him Pooh? It's, it's not a good idea. Anyways, so let's get started here. Now, not to get started, I'll get off with a simple habit. Because Hoblite, I don't know. They're, they're pronounced one of those two ways. H O P L I T E Hoplite Hop Light. Okay. Let's let's just say that they they're not that way. Funny. All right. Now uh let's get a second unit in here that uh one hoblet would would never be able to defeat uh Cyclops. Cyclops, Cyclops. You guys probably see it and I'm probably blind. It's right here. Of course, change it to TM2, like we learned in the last tutorial, part one. By the way, if you guys haven't seen part one, that would be a good idea to see first. Uh, because I pretty much go over everything except triggers. <laughs> oh yeah, all this up in the right corner over here, I didn't go over because I don't know what it does. I came from the past age of mythology, where it didn't have all this right here. And this is just your views. Uh, you don't really need to use this at all. All right, so. All right, so let's play test this. I'll place test this number one. Okay. Do 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 do. Do test Dido's rule. Do, 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 do. I'm drinking a Mountain Dew. Uh, yeah, a Cyclops isn't gonna work for what I want to show you, cause it, it's like an insta kill to all, uh, all of army people, all human warriors. I don't know why it takes so long to load. Sorry about the long loading times. So we'll choose a Minotaur instead. By the way, guys, uh, I watched my previous videos and I seen how much I was lacking to say the right words, and my mic kept on cutting out because I was being too quiet. So if you ever wonder why it j I just skipped over words, it's because my mic was being too quiet. All right, Medusa wouldn't work for this either. I mean, you could still do it with Medusa, except she's an instant kill, and you want to be able to see the example that I'm trying to set. All right, so you need to click Insert. And you're gonna need to name it. You don't have to, but it's easier to get keep track. So I'm gonna name my hub. That's that's not the right letter. Hoblite. And what you're gonna wanna do is press enter so it stays there and run immediately. Uh run immediately pretty much means what it says. Once you start the game it'll run immediately. If you don't have that on, it'll still run, but it'll take like ten seconds after the game starts. So if you have run immediately on, yeah. And then if you have whoop, that will make it so it keeps on doing it over and over. This can freeze your game if you don't put a timer on, which I will show you how to do that also. But for now, I'm just going to show you this. All right, so you want active and run immediately on. So what we're going to be doing is actually increasing the hit points of the hoblite, and we're going to be increasing attack. And we'll get to this by... So what you're going to want to do from here is just press M to get to modify pro unit. And the pro unit is going to be Hoblet, which is under H. And I didn't know that you could uh, just click the buttons to get to it faster until uh, a little while ago. It would have helped so much when I was building maps because it takes forever to scroll down through everything. Alright, so what we're going to want to do, as, as you can see, the Hoblet is on team 1. So, you would want to have it on player one. Alright, so these are all things you can switch it to. Uh, hit point, speed, LOS, is, which is uh, pretty much how far uh, 
you can see with the guy like how far he explores train points I have no idea build points I don't know there's some things that I don't even think do anything and they don't apply to some units uh, this might be for buildings I, I haven't really tested out everything yet but you you don't really need it uh, max containment it's like if you have a ship and then uh, one of those transporting ships and you put units inside it and max is 10 you can make it to whatever you want population count uh, it's how much population it takes up uh, population cap addition I am not sure what that does uh, lifespan I'm pretty sure th those are for uh, like if it slowly dies for some units like that recharge time that's like they're uh, like you know how Arcantos yells when he's about to attack uh, it's that except uh, if you make it less you won't he'll do it more often if you make it more he'll do it less often so it takes longer to charge build limit like towers there's a limit of how many you can build or houses so you, if you set that you can set that lower so you can't build as many or higher so you can build even more which it that I like sending it so you can build some, uh, almost as many towers as you want because it makes it interesting and it makes it so you can have a better defense I also sometimes uh, lower the price for towers just to make it more interesting which I'll sh you'll be able to see then just a minute range will like archers or w whatever is range towers it will increase the range or decrease it depending if uh, uh, depending what you want to do I'll show you how to decrease it so to increase it will, will just be one if you want to decrease the range which it will not work on the hoblet hob, hoblet uh, you just press a negative symbol in front of it and that will decrease by however we, you want to uh, put it and uh, minimum range that's like for cannonballs Can cannonballs have minimum range number of projectiles this is only applying to uh, units that use projectiles uh, this will modify how many projectiles you want to him to throw out so if you were oh, crap if you want to throw out a hundred you could do that except I want to advise it because that frees up the game I say like maximum you should put on is uh, 20 because if you have more than two of them it's gonna freeze up the game and uh, you can also get rid of some projectiles if you don't want any on there healing rate I've tried to work with this one but I I try to like make it tighten so they self heal but I, I'm not really sure uh, what I think it is though like with units that can heal other units that you can increase the time time or decrease the time that it takes to heal a unit uh, healing range the same thing except the range of where they can heal alright so cost in gold I you can uh, decrease like the cost of a hoblet and the barracks so instead of costing like say I don't know how much they do cost but instead of costing like a hundred you can put negative a hundred and they won't cost anything in the barracks except maybe the other supply that take it which I think is uh, food alright same with cost of wood and cost of food uh, and also the same in cost and favor which cost and favor you don't want to put it over a hundred because you can't go over a hundred supplies except for with uh, Zeus I think and uh, carry captivity gold this is for villagers this will make their car carrying captivity better, uh, higher and uh, it won't increase the time or the efficiency that they mine stuff or cut down wood this will only make it so they can carry more back and forth which can be a good thing but when you have too much of it it can be a bad thing same with carrying captivity wood and food and favor and I don't know why you need it for favor but we also have armor hack armor hacks a little different if you have uh, this one works as a percentage they give it as a percentage so uh, I think that it's already around 50% right now for armor hack so if you put it right right here just the one right there that would make it to a hundred percent so don't, don't work on that side of the desk but work on this side so if like that that would be 10 percent think of it as a zero after it 20 30 
percent, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%. Now this will add on to what the Hoblet already has. So that's what I was confused with at first. This will just be 1%, 2%, 3%, whatever you want it. I don't think that you can go into uh, uh, farther than that, like over here. I don't know what you call that. The, I think that's a hundredths place. But correct me if I'm wrong. Alright, so next we have Armor Pierce, which is the same thing except arrows and other projectiles like that. Crush is like what the Titans doing damage or what the cannonballs doing damage. Like they're it's really effective against walls. Hand attack hack. Now this one is not a percentage. Uh so you can up it to every month. Remember, this will just add to what it's already. So, if you want to, I think it's seven they start off with, negative seven, they won't do anything. If you, that will get rid of seven of their attack. Now, if you go six, it will have one attack and it'll slowly, slowly, slowly kill them. All right, if you do 18 or 10, uh, this will add attack, so its total will be 17. The same with hand attack pierce. I'm not really sure what unit use pierce for the hand attack, but it's, I'm pretty sure there's some out there. And uh, hand attack rush. And this is like Titans, like I said. And so the range attack hack, like say the, like the throwing axe guy I think is hack for throwing a uh, ranged attack. It's uh, pretty much the same, except you have to use this for the ranged guys. Same with ranged pierce and range crush. This is like cannibals and stuff. This is like toxics. Toxitotes. And uh hand bonus myth versus myth. This will give them more attack during uh versus myth. It's the same as other one. It'll add ten, it'll subtract ten, whatever you want. Same with hero, cavalry, infantry, archery, uh siege, like uh cannibals and stuff, towers. Uh I don't know for sure, but I think it's just what it says. Towers, like sentry towers. Ships, I'm pretty sure you know what that means. Buildings. Uh, I don't think buildings counts as walls, but let's see. Yeah, buildings does count as walls. Villagers and huntable animals. And this is range versus all of them. It's pretty much the same thing again. So let's say that we want to have the hoblites stronger than the minotaur. We are going to either make him stronger against myth or his hand attack here because uh, his hand attack hack because that's what he is. He, I don't think he's pierced. I think he's hack. All right. So what we're gonna do though, I'm gonna show off how how this works. So I'm gonna make make it a hundred versus myth, and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, let, hold on, let me find uh, another another soldier that I can set up against him so I can show you what I mean. Uh, no. No. Yeah, okay, these guys are effect. Uh, archers effective against uh, uh, swordsmen, whatever, I don't care. Stutter, stutter, stutter. Okay, so I'm going to be playing as Team 2 in this one because I need to move those archers up. I mean, I could play as Team 1, but where is the fun in that? Alright, as you can see, it does massive attack to him. Massive. Now, he's not going to have... Very much effect on this because they don't really does a lot of attack on the mythical units. Now these guys could kill them really easy. Or not too easy. These guys are gonna suck because they only have three attack, but you get my point. And I win. Hooray. Now everything will still be saved after you quit the uh, testing. Uh, Alright, so I'm gonna put them on a island just so it looks cooler. Hooray. Coolness. 
the coolness factor is up, guys. And also, so other things can't run away that I'm going to be putting down. Alright, so if you want to make this guy OP, what you're going to have to do is go back into effects and change his hit points to whatever you want to make him OP to. And then if you press copy, it's the easy way of just getting it down here so you don't have to... Uh, uh, so you don't have to find everything again instead of just inserting. And if you want to get rid of it, just press simply press delete, copy. All right. So uh, uh, we want to add more attack to him. I got rid of the older attack, by the way. Uh, let's add armor hack. Just one will make it up to a hundred percent. If we copy it again. And change it to pierce, hundred percent. And change it to. I passed it, didn't I? Armor. Armor crush. Copy. All right. Then you want to change the attack if you want it to be higher. Of course, you can always change it to be lower. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to get that wrong. Hand attack hack. And I'm going to change that. To 150. That should be good. That should one shot kill everything except for like Titans and stuff. Alright, I. Th He's pretty overpowered already. Uh, but one more thing, I just want to see you guys with increased speed. Don't ever send 150 speed because you'll send him to go over here, he'll go flying across the map. Uh, if you guys ever use a cheat of all Canada bears, uh, if you add like 10 to them, I say that's about the speed of the old Canada bears. Uh, so let's add like four. All right, so let's let's Lege. test this again. Let's make the army's a little bit bigger. Remember, unit copy, unit paste, and it sometimes doesn't Head work. Unit copy, unit paste. There we go. Alright, so normally no hoblet could take this out. Uh, not even if I had a thousand thunder pellets because I couldn't get the thunder belt to him fast enough. But, you know. You know what I'm saying. You know, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know. You know. You guys aren't stupid. Okay. You think I have enough? Alright, he might die though because of all the archers I put in, but he should be pretty good. Look at that. OP. OP. Just like. Excuse me. Mark me. Excuse me. Mark me. The only reason that he's dying so fast is because the archers, they take one hit point from each time, and uh, there's a lot of archers. And they're just kind of flinging him around. Ooh, he's just standing there. Alright, as you guys can see, he's pretty OP, but those archers took him out. Alright, let's say, uh, I'm going to stay on the subject for a little longer. Just so you guys get the hang of this, because this is by far my favorite thing to do, is change them around. I don't know why, it just interests me a lot. Probably because I played so long, and I've seen other people make maps where they change stuff, but they, uh, I could never figure it out. And I was little too, so. And they did, uh, I'm doing a tutorial on it because there, there are barely any tutorials that aren't in Spanish. Uh... No habla espanol, mi amigo. Okay. Let's see that it has enough to defeat them. Okay. Should be more than enough, but you never know the arrow. The, the stick throwers, huh? The, the pelt fast. They all have weird names. Pelt fast. 
But as you can see, they're not taking these guys out in the hit because these guys are strong to uh, the hop hoplites. Whoa, whoa, OP. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're gonna insert another one, and this one is going to be for I don't know what they're called. So we're just gonna I forgot. They're gonna call them. Why is it T there? Okay, apparently T's can't be deleted, guys. So we're just gonna call them stick. Throw. Through? Why did I say through? Uh, we're just gonna call them stick people. Even though they're not stick. It's kind of a play on words. I knew you guys would think it's funny. Ha ha. Ha We'll go over conditions in just a minute. Alright, so. Remember. M to quickly get down to it. Modify pro unit. Pro unit. I don't know the names of them. Let's go. Oh yeah, they start with P, I think. There they are. Peltast. Do you remember how to change it to Team 2? They don't need more hit points, because I'm going to do something crazy, and I hope it doesn't crash it. Let's increase the range by 10. That is not 10. That's 10. Let's copy. And change the number of projectiles. The number of projectiles are now 10. And now it's time for the op to get to a new level. You guys ready for this? Play test scenario, team 1. Who do you, who do you think you guys can win? Say now in the comments before it starts. Before it starts. Okay. The lag is real. Close match between the Pelotas. I'll get the name down, guys. Pelotas and the Hoblets. Pelotas. Pelotas. Toss. Toss. Ooh, this stinks. Close match, but the Hoblets have too much health. Hoblite, Hoblet, who cares? I'm bad at pronouncing these names, and I'm not going to get better. Okay. Okay, now that we're going to be done with that for a little while, and we'll mess with some other things. I didn't want to go into that. So I'll go into trigger, trigger, trigger it. I'm going to delete. To delete them, you just press delete. You can also copy them. I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to insert a new one. We'll call this one, uh, why is the T staying there? That's getting on my nerves. I wonder if you have to have a letter there at all times. Yeah. That's how it is. It's kind of dumb, but we'll call it God Powers because I, you guys can guess what this one's gonna be about. Run immediately. Go to effects. I'm not sure where they're at. Probably under God Powers, if I had to guess. Grant God Power. Player one power. You can choose any of these powers that you want. They'll start piling up on each other. The number. Or you can add more uses, doesn't matter. Uh, some of them are pretty cool, actually. Uh, this is actually a cheat god power. It's my favorite, so let's get, let's use the uh, chicken storm. You can use any god power you want. Let's add a hundred. Okay, that didn't work. So you gotta make your sure your mouse is over it so it, it doesn't uh doesn't change it. Oh yeah, I forgot Ch chicken soul can only be that Gaia. Okay, we're doing the next best thing. Um a bear. <laughs> it's not the old cannon one. I'm not really sure how you get the old cannon a bear without cheats in this mode. But you can get the Bella dog. Okay. And as we used last time, I'm going to increase the size. Their feet start going through the ground, but if you move them, they'll go back up. Hey, remember that show Little Bear? 
he grew up to be one big bear. <laughs> Half you don't get my jokes. <laughs> and what do bears hate most? That's right. Way jazz. No, villagers. Where's the villager? There they are. No. We want Greek. Because Greek is for geeks. I don't know. I came up with that by myself, guys. Okay. Hungry villagers. Uh, oh, yeah. Unit copy, unit paste. Again, this is going to work because it's retarded. Proseje, leye. Unit copy, unit paste. Oh my god. Leye. There we go. I don't know why I'm facing the wrong way. There we go. Villagers don't like bears. I don't think I have enough villagers yet. Okay, now that you guys have put enough villagers down for your bear to kill, you can play test it. Team one, okay. Uh oh. Oh. You guys didn't even get time to see the chickens because the stupid bear attacked. Okay, guys, we're not using a bear because they're retarded and everything, so. I don't mean retarded, I mean happy. Sorry. They're. They're not smart. Sorry, guys. Uh. We're gonna use something with a lot of health that villagers will run away from. Uh, Behemoth will do good. Okay, it needs to increase that though. Just for the coolness factor. That's a real behemoth there. Alright, let's play test level again. Play test scenario. Okay, testing. Guys, behemoths don't like these villagers either, so. That's check ends. I don't see why I don't just make them a normal god power. Who doesn't like chickens? Uh, yeah. OP? Alright, so I just showed you some of the things you can do. Uh, I'm gonna continue showing you things you can do with that. I'm not gonna be making another level today. By the way, I will show off a really uh, awesome level soon that I have created. It, it will probably be like in a week or so, but because I want to do some more Let's Plays instead of just level editing. Which I, I hope you guys like my, enjoy my Let's Plays. Uh, I I uh, stutter a lot, and, and I'll get better with that as I do YouTube. As you can see today, I've been trying to improve, but I'm still stuttering somewhat. Uh, let's go with, what should I show you guys next? I'll show you guys the loop. The loop de loop and pull. And I can't delete it with the delete button. So press delete on it. Insert a new one. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to loop, but I'm going to loop something. Darn you. Darn you, vital women. As Dewey Griffin would say. Loop. Shoot the loop. We're going to put a loop on it and run immediately. I almost uh, always use run immediately. I don't see why you want it need uh run immediately if you guys were wondering why i just stopped talking there because i burped excuse me and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a loop do loop bam pull your shoes are looking cool shoot the loop uh which one is uh create maybe uh army Army alive, army's alive, army's dead. 
uh, oh, this is this is uh, conditions. So what we're gonna need to do is put a timer on this. That's usually the only one I use, but you you can use any of these. Uh, I'm not really sure what all of them do, but I'm just gonna go over the timer for now. It may be a different one. I don't I don't know, but I'm just gonna go over the simple ones. All right, so whatever you put in here, it'll keep on repeating itself every uh, 10 seconds. And say you turn off the loop, then it will it'll do it in 10 seconds, but it won't repeat itself. If you turn on the loop, it'll do it in 10 seconds, and then it'll it'll do it in another 10 seconds, and it'll do it in another 10 seconds. And the uh, effects is what it will do. Alright, so say you want to uh, create another unit. Hold on, I'm looking for it. Count add timer, damage unit, damage unit, percentage, destroy, destroy, divide, 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 divide. divide. Technical difficulties? Uh, I think it might be under army. Hold on. I can find it. Move by area, move to point, move unit, move to unit. Uh, I thought it was down here. You can, uh, you can also make it so uh, you don't start off in age one and you start off in a later age, and you can pretty much mix it up with other gods, but it. it gets it's kind of glitchy when you do that, but I think it's always cool to do that. Uh, rate training, increase the rate of uh, everything that will come out. See, then you can decrease the rate or increase it. Uh, rate research the same thing. Rate construction just for villagers how fast they will build. You put negative on it to get less building time. I I think that anyway. No, actually you add more to get uh, less building time. Relic forest. I have no idea what that is. Uh, reveal map is you can set it so in a matter of time it'll reveal map. If you get to a certain point, it'll reveal a map, or you can just have it start to where it reveal a map. Uh, you can have it send a message to you. Uh, you can set animation. It's pretty pointless. Uh, you can make you can make yourself land if you pick up a relic and take it back to a temple uh, someone's defending uh, you can uh, try to look for unit create there it is I found it alright so uh, this is how you would do it you would click set area and then click where you want it and then you can click here to sh show where you had it and uh this this is nothing special you just you just name what you want it doesn't matter mr poop that's a perfect name don't don't you insult my perfect name it's the perfectest name in the world all right so now we're going to switch it to oblates and guys, I'm using hoblites because they're small and they're one of my favorite units to use. I don't know why they're kind of weak and crappy, but still, they're good for early attacks. Where is he? There he is. There he is. All right. So now, what this will do? This will make it so a unit spawns here every 10 seconds, which can be good for like. Uh, it can be good for custom maps. Well, obviously it's a custom map, but uh, say you, it, it can be good for uh, more more difficult things to do. I don't have a word to explain it, but that's that's pretty much it. Uh, there are more difficult things that you can do with this, but I don't. I don't really want to go into that uh, in this part. If you guys want me to, then I'll go over it. But uh, it's kind of difficult to me, even though I've been playing this ever since I was little and using the crater, uh, even though I didn't know what the crap I was doing at the time. 
and this is how they change the name of it. Blah, blah, blah. It's Falak Ha Jeff Lick Jalk. We'll just name him Jalk. That's a good name, Mr. Jalk. Okay, it's Rum Jalk. Okay. We're gonna actually set the time to a little bit less so you guys can see this happen better. Two seconds. It's not too long, not too short. And, uh. We'll add some more units. Just add a Titan. Team 2. I don't like how they sp spawn this on anything because it always disrupts the map and you gotta delete it every time it's annoying. Alright, so. Just getting them started with the. That is not the right team. Couple hobbits. And scenario. Playtest scenario, team one. Okay, let's go. And you'll see how this works. Take it. It's for Lee. Ooh. 360, no scope. Now those keep on spawning. Run, wait for them to spawn more. Wait for them. You know, this would suck in real life. Guys, this is how you kill a Titan, I found it out. Okay, I'm, I'm having too much fun with this. Alright, so I think that's it, but if you guys have anything else that you would like me to explain, um, I'm pretty sure I went over, over everything, including this. I went over, I didn't really go over this very well, so I'll just go over that. Uh, these are roads, obviously, there's different type of grass. Uh, it will go over the letters for it, this is better looking grass. Uh, you can make it look more natural too, and cool by m mashing the different crashes together. And uh, you can put a lot of detail into these maps. I spent hours making these maps before, I, like, like not just one hour it took to make the last one, like maybe like ten hours, because I I wanted to make it so good for online, and then no one ended up liking it, and now it's forever alone. <laughs> Alright, so what? Oh yeah, you can, out, you can also make them attack in this mode. Wait, hold on, you can't have this one. And it will work. You just have to be careful because if you attack him in this mode and say he had a whole bunch of buildings around, he'll go around to every single building and attack it until you make him stop. And then the buildings will be, uh, the towers will be attacking him and it could go into chaos. And I have had that happen to me before experience alright guys I've had fun doing this and I look forward to the next video see you guys in the next videos